Here it is about being patient. We know the bravery of Imam Ali. There is no one who contests Imam Ali's courage in the battlefield. Talk about Badr, talk about Uhud, talk about Hunayn, talk about Khandaq, and, 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 and. One day, Muawiyah wrote a letter to Imam Ali. Imam Ali wrote him a letter back in Nahjul Balagha. He says, the sword with which I killed your brother, your grandfather, and your uncle is still in my hand, ready for you. The sword is still in my hand. The sword from Badr, with me still. So, his courage is uncontested. But something to show us Imam Ali's true courage. After the wafat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, 25 years he stayed at home. Those people who killed his wife, who killed his baby, who took the Khilafah away from him. Yet, when they came asking him for advice, what did he do? Did he tell them, go out? No, he didn't. What did he do? He gave them sincere, genuine advice. That's true courage. To stand in front of the man who was responsible for attacking your own house and give him sincere, genuine advice when he was conquering the Persians, when he wanted to conquer the Romans. He gave them advice and true advice. That's true courage. That's the akhlaq of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Where his akhlaq is qurbatan ilallah. It's what's best for Islam, not for my own self. Not for my own self. It does not mean he was not hurt from what they did. Of course he was hurt. But what is Islam's interest? He does it. This is the akhlaq. To the point where the second khalifa one day asked him, he said, Ya Abu al-Hasan, how is it that whenever we ask you a question, you answer immediately? You don't even take time to think about it. How? Now, interesting, that itself is a question. This itself is also a question. Imam Ali immediately went like this. He said, how much is this? How many fingers? He said, five. He said, how did you respond without taking time to think about it? How come? You know, you didn't take time to think about this. So, well, this is obvious. Oh, I can see this obvious. He said, the answers to all the questions that are posed to me are as obvious to me as this is obvious to you. I am the city of Naj, Ali is the gate. And Imam Ali says, Allamani Rasulullah. Prophet Rasulullah taught me 1,000 branches of knowledge. Each branch leads to another 1,000 branch. That is Ali ibn Abi Talib, salam alayhi. To the point where the second Khalifa in 62 or 72 occasions, different occasions, says, may Allah not keep me for a difficulty for which Abu Hassan is not there to help me answer it. They came to the second Khalifa. They told him two ladies, one gave a birth to a boy, the other one to a lady, to a girl. And they're saying both they gave birth to the boy. How do we tell? He said, we cannot tell, but there is the one who can tell. They told him who? He said, get up with me. Let's go to Ali ibn Abi Talib. He knows. They go to Imam Ali. He is farming in the farm, sweating. They tell him, Ya Amir Ya Ali, can you solve this problem? He says, bring me two containers that are equal in weight and a scale, a balance. They bring him two containers equal in weight. Put them on this scale. Then he says to each lady, he sends two women with her. He says, each one, let her put some of her breast milk in each container, each lady. So she puts... Breast milk, equal quantity. He puts them on the weigh scale. He finds one is heavier than the other. It says the one with the heavier milk is the mother of who? The boy. The other one is the mother of the girl. Doctors, 
I think now they attest to this. Doctors realize now this is true. He figured it out 1400 years ago. The second Khalifa told him, Ya Ali, in al haqqa aradak, walakinna qawmaka abaw alayka dhalik. Ali, the truth wanted you to become the Khalifa. But people, your people, denied you your Khilafah. They deprived it of you. Imam Ali looked at him and said, wait, Ya Aba Hafs, until the day of judgment, that's when justice will be served. Justice will be but look at the akhlaq of Imam Ali. This is with the people who attacked his house. Look at the manners. He did not come, when they came to him for advice, he did not tell them, who, you? After all you've done, you come to me for advice? Get out. This is not Ali ibn Abi Talib. Even those people, he gives them the advice. This is our man, how we should have the manners. With the mu'mineen, with the people. This kind of akhlaq. So brothers and sisters, our attitude towards religion, the way we interact with each other, with the society, our manners, our akhlaq, has to be all in the path of Allah. That's our aim. Imam Ali alayhi salam always thought about what pleases Allah, not what pleases himself. He says in one of his sermons in Nahj al my soul, myself, I control it with piety, taqwa, taqwa Allah. Inna hiya nafsi aruduha taqwa Have you seen a wild horse, a wild horse? How they tame the wild horse? He says, I tame myself with taqwa, taqwa Allah. In other words, every time he does one thing, anything, he thinks what pleases Allah and he does it.